welcome to Friends and Neighbors. I'm Sherry Tatum, one of the hosts. And my co-host, Sandra O'Neill, is going to be singing a song called God Will Make a Way. And that's so appropriate because here on Friends and Neighbors, we always want to convey the thought that God will never leave you nor forsake you, that he will open a door that cannot be opened, that he'll make your path straight, and that he is the God that loves you. So right now, stay with us and hear my fabulous Sandra O'Neill sing, God Will Make a Way. It must have felt strange to end up stranded Between an army and the sea They must have felt forsaken wondering why God wasn't all they thought he'd be When your back's against the wall It's the hardest place of all But somewhere between provision And impossibility
to welcome back to Friends and Neighbors. And Sherry, it's always a delight to be able to co-host this show with you. Well, same here, honey. You bring so much life and laughter to my life. You really <laughs> do. Even with this head cold, <laughs> yes. You know, and talking about life moments, yeah, we have a wonderful guest with us. Her name is Jane Bishop, and she is going to be talking about life moments and how we can really take advantage of them with her new book called The Bread Box. So help me welcome Jane Bishop. Oh. I'm so delighted to have you here. Well, I am delighted and honored to be here sitting in your living room with both of you. <laughs> yes, this is our good living yes. room. Yes. I know, we were just talking about those life moments and I'm like, I'm having a moment right now with a sweater. I'm so hot. <laughs> it's a hot flash. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. yeah, how's that working for you? Yeah. Oh, we'll see. Oh, oh, oh. let's not go there. I don't know if I'm quite there yet, yeah. but I think I'm kind of climbing up there. Yeah. I don't know. Right. But, but I, God will make a way. Yes, he will. <laughs> you know, we were talking about yeah. these life moments. Yes. Um, I know that your book was inspired. It's more of a reflection of your teenage years, right? Well, it, that's the initial story that okay. kind of got me thinking mm -hmm. about life by the, the, life by the slice. I and love if you that. think about it, we all have these moments. As a professional coach, we like to say being in the moment, you know, with the client and yes. being fully present. And in this day and time, that just kind of goes by the wayside in life in general. Mm. You know, it's it's kind of here and there and, and gone. Right. But it started with thinking about in my first book of life, I think books, uh, our life is lived in books, not chapters, and then we have chapters. I grew up very mobile because my dad was in the army. He's a military chaplain. Oh. So I had to learn to adapt and be flexible along the way in little slices. When we live someplace for a year, mm -hmm. you either sit back and you know, just do this for 12 months or you choose to dive in and learn all you can and, and enjoy the moment. So God gave me the bread box life by the slice title. He really did. I had these little personal narratives that I had been writing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's what they are, personal narratives, experiences, listen, looking at life perhaps a little differently yes. than some people do. Oh. Well, don't you think th that God gives us li life by the slice? Oh, because we couldn't handle it, Sandra and yes. Jane, no. if it was all at one we time. We have the whole picture, right? No. no, if you knew tomorrow what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. You might not could handle it. He said, but, you know, take no thought of tomorrow. Right. T today is your slice. Exactly. Right. That's Don't our you slice. I do. I agree with that, Sherry. <laughs> and I do think that's a gift that he gives us sometimes that we overlook. Right. Because we want, in this age of technology, we were talking about watches, you know, <laughs> earlier, and in this age of, <laughs> of Sherry technology. Sherry got an Apple watch. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I still have a rotary watch. <laughs> And I don't know how it works. You know? <laughs> well, I have a traditional standard watch as well. So. But, you know, technology has made things move so quickly, and we, we, we have gotten in this culture of give me, give me, give me all of this information. Yes. So it really is a gift from God that he doesn't give us everything all at once. Amen. I, I believe that. You know, I was looking at, in your book about... Uh, the little smart car yes that was in the middle of the trucks and yes. the F SUVs yes <laughs> but how little that was but it kept up with the big cars with the trucks yes. it could go just as well as they can and that's the way our life is exactly. those slices yes. they may be little but they're keeping us up they're keeping us going getting mm -hmm. us where we're supposed to be, I think. Exactly. And you think about it. If I, I like to use metaphors. So you think about life. So some people like wheat bread. Some people like white. Some people like pumpernickel. Okay, they all have a different purpose. If pumpernickel tries to be rye bread, that's not going to happen, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Thank you. So if a little smart car tried to tow a, a huge boat that the Ford F-150, you know, could manage, that wouldn't work. work. Right. No. So think about it in our own personal life lives. How many people are trying to be somebody they're not? You know, and we need oh. to walk in the purpose that God yes. has. For, you are the only you that God created. Yes. You're a unique yes. individual. Now, you were talking about how bread, um, how it feeds you, yes. right? And how that uh, compares to your your slice, your yes. moments. Uh, again, in that metaphor and comparison, you think about slices of bread, they're quick sources of energy. 
you know, if you want to work out and you need a quick source of energy, grab a slice of bread. They are comfort food. Mm -hmm. You know, the, your favorite sandwich, grilled cheese sandwich, or with mm -hmm. eggs and toast. They can be a good source of fiber. And our slices of life that God gives us and allows us to experience, that feeds us. Mm -hmm. That's what encourages us. And I, I fully believe after sharing the little personal narratives, and they're short, mm -hmm. as you saw, Sherry, in the book, then I encourage the reader, I give them some activities to challenge them to create their own slices of life. Oh, I love that. Because we all have this stored up, yes. and I'm not talking about storage of fat, <laughs> you know, in our bodies, yeah. but we all have this stored up that we need to draw on when we have those times that you mentioned in the words of the song, when we have those heavy burdens, right. what do we draw on? Yes. Right. It's that reflective, and I was going to ask you about that too, because yes, in this time of um, this culture, you kind of, you want everything instantly, and then when do we take the moment to reflect and really yes. sink in, let things sink in that happen to you. Yes. God speaks to us with our daily moments. Exactly. Right, absolutely. And learning to recognize those mm -hmm. and being in tune and mindful in your relationship you know, with God for those who are believers. And there are some that are listening that, that don't know him personally. Right. But we as Christians, you know, we have to learn to recognize that. And is that a moment of, you know, meditating, um, that slice of, uh, you know, that, that, that slice, that moment mm -hmm. when you reflect and you were talking about at the end of the book, you've got those, um, what, are they the questions or your yeah. everyday? Yeah, little activities, activities that, you know, to get yeah. you to think, you know, about how to, how to be mindful. Right. But those moments, I think, Sandra, they're different for everybody. Some yes. people are firm believers in meditation. Mm. Some are a firm believer in uh, daily devotionals. So it's different for everybody, mm -hmm. but the principle is there, the core essential. It's pausing, stopping, taking a breath. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, what I wanted to ask you this, you have in your book, it, create your slice. Yes. Create your slice. Yes. I want to ask you that question. What do you mean by create your slice? Everyone's different, Sherry. What, and I'll go back to the different loaves types of bread that I mentioned. Yeah. So what is encouraging to you may not be an encouragement to Sandra, may not be an encouragement to me. And it goes, you know, all between the three of us. Mm -hmm. But creating your slice is what is meaningful to you? What are you, what in your life experiences can you draw upon mm -hmm. to create that slice for encouragement, to reflect mm -hmm. to what you're saying, Sandra, to really stand on? Right. Because God has created each of us as unique individuals. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Living life by the slice is another way of helping you stand on your own story. Mm. Well, you, you know, he, he says he's the bread of life. Yes, Jesus is. is the bread of life. Yes. So, you know, he, when we take like the Last Supper, you know, he, he yeah. broke the bread. Mm -hmm. And when he fed the uh, thousands, mm -hmm. you know, he had to break that bread yes. before he could give it out. And a lot of times we get broken in a situation, yes. he breaks us to make us reflect, to go back and like Sandra said, to soak up. What are you trying to teach me in this slice, in this day, yes. at this yes. time? And so you said, check your bread box for a time when you took a stand because he says, doing all to stand, yes. stand and see the glory of God. We are to stand where yes. we are at the time of life, and it is those different slices, but you said, check, check it. Yes. Check your bread box. See yes. when that was. Go back. Maybe you're having a hard time, mm -hmm. and you've got to reflect back into mm -hmm. that bread box of when God came mm -hmm. on the scene and helped you <clears throat> in a different time that you were in of, of a slice like you're talking about. So let me ask you, Sherry, in, in reading that and referring to that statement, and you don't have to comment, but my question to you would be, so what came up in your mind when you read that? Mm. Mine came up to check when, like, <clears throat> my two daughters have been going through a real hard time the mm -hmm. last couple of months. 
and uh, well, three of them, actually three of my daughters, hard, hard time. And it could defeat me and take my faith mm -hmm. if I didn't have that bread box to yes. go back and see mm -hmm. all the miracles, yes. all the time that God intervened for me right. and became that way maker for me, mm. who never left me nor forsook me, but was there. He was faithful. That's what I see, Jane, yes. in my box. My bread box is his faithfulness mm. that, and his, that his mercy mm -hmm. endures forever mm -hmm. and is renewed every morning. His mercies. Oh, yeah. I have have to think on that as well as I do today. I have to think about all the, the slices that God made good. Yes. He didn't let them mold. Right. He didn't let them mold you. Mm -hmm. He kept the goodness there mm -hmm. for me. That's Absolutely. what I thought of. That's awesome. And Sandra, to be fair, so what comes up in your mind if you were checking in when you, you know, had a moment to stand? My mind? Well, well I don't know. I'm, it's kind of blank now. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm totally joking. No, you know, it is. You go back and you, you stand on God's promises. You know, my, I always go back to the scripture, my life verse, which yes. is um, Hebrews 11, 1. Mm -hmm. To have faith is to be certain of the things you hope for and right. be certain of the things you cannot see. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've struggled through infertility, but God, um, after 13 years, mm -hmm. his promises came through. Mm -hmm. And I remember, because it's, it's living in those moments, because those 13 years of wilderness that I call it, just the desert experience. It was one moment at a time, seeking the yes. Lord and reflecting and saying, I am, I am who you say I yes. am. I yes. will be a mom to the motherless, even if I cannot give birth and physically. But God is so faithful mm -hmm. because he does provide when you least expect it. it and does. we actually, we have a daughter now who's seven years old. Wow. And um, Praise we, the Lord for that. Yes, her name is Eliana and we're grateful for the miracle. But it doesn't end there because mm -hmm. as your faith walk increases um, or you keep walking this journey and this road, you're yeah. gonna, you know, you're gonna you, you're going to fall into some yeah. pits, but you have to get back up, right? Well, you do, and that's where, and I'll use the physical body, because one of, one of my previous uh, life works was I was an athletic coach and taught in two small colleges, and that was my first vocation or choice, and then God kind of made another way, still use the same gifts, but our physical core is yes. the strength of our whole body, mm. and but we have to we have to work on it. Mm -hmm. We have to keep it taught. We have to work those do muscles. Do I have to, Jane? Well, <laughs> do I have to? Get those wanna, faith muscles. You want to function <laughs> the best you can. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? Now, Sherry, you don't have to have a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See, again, that's all about what is working for you. Yes. Yeah. You know, John Mason has one of my favorite quotes. You were born an original, don't die a copy. I love that. Ooh, and I, I read yeah. that in your bio yeah. and I love that. You know, and I love to say things that God is a couture God. He yeah. just completely, it's, he is molding you. He, whatever happens to you is for a yes. reason. Yes, yes, he does. And I think the more we can be in the moment in our life and be alert to those slices of life and learn from those, mm -hmm. the more effective we can be Absolutely. as what God has called us to do and the greater influence we can have to those around us. Yes. Amen. Wh whatever that is for the, each individual person. Yes, Amen. I agree with that wholeheartedly. A lot of people are looking yes. for their purpose. Yes. There's so many, uh, even mm -hmm. in this culture, yeah. younger ones, I feel like I'm quite seasoned yeah. now. Yeah. Well, but the younger yeah. generation. <laughs> Grandma Sandra here. Is well, grandma, grandma, grandma. I will have to tell yeah. you the story of Grandma Sandra. Yeah. This yeah. is not yes. the time or the place. But oh, I, I think it is. I think you should go for it. Just, oh you know, my goodness. Now well, you've piqued everybody's interest. They're on the edge of their seats. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just really quickly though, I have a rotary watch and there were a bunch of first graders walking down the line and I was looking at my watch and one first grader goes, hey, my grandma has one of those watches. Well, praise the Lord. Yeah. But anyway, we are not done here. We're going to take a small commercial break, but come back and join us. We're going to dive a little bit deeper. But uh, the yeah, bread from box. Grandma to yeah. Miss uh, Youthful Apple uh, Watch. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. But we will right see you back. here yeah. in here a moment. with Jane. Just a moment. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, welcome back to Friends and Neighbors, and we're going to just get right in this with Jane Bishop, <laughs> the author of The Bread Box. And Jane, we all know how that we all... I make bread. Um, Sue Becker's a good friend yes. of mine, or Bread Becker's. Mm -hmm. I love her. And um, the bread that you make, it, it, it's quite an ordeal to make bread and then slice it. But you know who made us? The Lord made us. Yes, he right. created yes. us. We're his bread, but he's the bread of life. Yes. It all works mm. together. I don't understand it, but he does give us slices like we were talking yes. about. But I wanted, I have looked in this book, <laughs> and, and I love this book. I'm telling you, you would love it. <laughs> Pacing, Rhythm, and Kick. Yes. That is a chapter. I am just wanting to know what is that. Well, that talks about, I use my experience in the 10K road race that happens in Atlanta every year on July the 4th. And there is a, it's 6.2 miles for those that don't know what 10K is, but it's a, it's a <laughs> grand experience. But in my training for that, you, you learn to work on your pacing mm. and your rhythm, because if you don't, you won't have any kick at the end of the 10K because you'll be so caught up in the crowds on the side and, and the other people beside you and you'll just get out of sync with who you are. So I share that and then use the, the, the challenge and encouragement to the readers, what is your pacing in your life? Mm. What is your rhythm? Mm. If you are starting your day at four o'clock, how do you pace yourself in the day so you have kick at the end of the day? for an example, yeah. or if you are always worrying and complaining and always negative, that's zapping your energy, that's mm. zapping your emotions, and it's gonna get you out of sync. Absolutely. And, and you're just not gonna have that kick, that burst that you need to finish whatever you're involved in, a race, the day, the project. Yes, that's such a perspective, a shift, a shift yes. of thinking. Yes. Yeah. Right, well, in well, thinking. Well, Jane's talking about, you know, negative things. And in that, I always go back to the Bible when he says, murmur not. Right. Mm. You know, don't complain. Have a grateful heart. Yes. Uh, be thankful that the glass is half full yes. instead of half yes. empty. Yes, it's be, be thankful that your name's written in the Lamb's yes. Book of Life. Jane, there's always something that we can find to be thankful for. Always. And to not murmur. God doesn't like it. You know, he, he wants you, he likes the praise. He likes for you to be thankful yes. for what he's given mm. you. Yes. And then you can build on, on that slice of bread yes. Yes. that you've been given, stacked by the stack. I mean, I like a club sandwich. Yeah. You know, yeah. no, and it's got three pieces yeah. of bread in it. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, here Nothing it is, less. right here. Nothing less. It's all settled yeah. right here, three pieces yeah. of bread. That's okay, because that's the goodness of God yes. in, in my life. He let me build yes. on those slices yes. of bread. And you know, Sherry, it still, though, is your choice. Absolutely. It, it is. He gives us those slices, but it's our choice where we choose the mindset shift, where mm. we choose to, there are some days it is hard to find something positive, but there's some nugget there. Yes. Right. Some nugget there. There are a lot of people that know me and have known me through the years because I'm a very positive that person. That's how God wired me. That's what I've chosen to do. Does that mean all of my days are easy? <laughs> <laughs> we live in a fallen world. <laughs> and that's the assumption that a lot of people make. Yes. But positivity and a good attitude and finding those blessings, those nuggets, mm. even in the hard times, yes. doesn't change our circumstances. It shifts our mindset in how we can relate and deal with those circumstances. I love that, that's very powerful. And it also puts us attuned to what the yes. Lord is trying to reveal through those hard moments yes. in our lives. Exactly. And that's a hard lesson to learn. And when you yeah. are thinking negative, you kind of, you're kind you aligning yourself with what? With the, the enemy. enemy. You with are. the enemy. You and are. which pushes out the word of God, which we're to think on things lovely, pure, and of a good report. Exactly. We're not supposed to think on those things no. that the enemy is pushing in our minds that God doesn't hear us. God won't move. God's not, well, he is there. Yes. Because he, he said, I'm not, I'm not a man that I right. should lie. All his words are true. Yeah. And if you can mm -hmm. think on those. Think on these things. Mm -hmm. Think on these things. And and you know what people are thinking and where their mindset is right. by the words that they use. If Amen. you think about it, your thoughts are showing. Amen. No, that's right. <laughs> it comes right out of the heart, right? <laughs> your thoughts are <laughs> showing. If you listen to 
some people, you know, they're showing big time. <laughs> you know, like neon signs sometimes. <laughs> well, you, are you going to have a sequel to this? You're going to write this. another book? You it. think, Jane? I, I am. I'm, I am working on one this year, and it will be out in a few months. Do you enjoy being an author now? I Not just an yeah. athletic type person, yeah. but an author also. I do because my whole passion in ministry, Sherry and Sandra, is to help people be the best that they can. I Amen. love that. And I'm not, a, I'm not the, the type of author that's going to write a novel or fiction or anything like that. I want to give something that people can take one slice at a time. I love it. Amen. Be encouraged, learn, be challenged and be motivated. We'll come back when you do it. Yes. Okay. And thank you for joining yeah. us. And we look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Friends and Neighbors. Neighbors. And go get this book. You'll be blessed. Yes. Amen. Amen.